Mob justice has a history as old as humanity, but getting cancelled is a modern invention. The internet has allowed anonymous people to gang up and exact vengeance on any person for any reason. It's led to content creators losing sponsorships or being deplatformed entirely. Sometimes the people being cancelled really deserve it, and other times the mob goes after the wrong person entirely. Some people lose their jobs, friends, and livelihood all from internet mob justice. But a small fraction of people are able to brush this off entirely, and some people even come out stronger. What separates these two types of people? I want to find out what makes someone truly uncancelable. I'm Jabroni, and this is Uncancelable, Jay Schlatt. Uh, Jay Schlatt is apparently a very problematic figure in the Minecraft community. I don't know what the f he did, but it sounds like he must have beat up everyone's dad and then f all of their moms in that community. They hate him. They have labeled him every awful thing that you can possibly think of. From a racist, to a homophobe, to a Nazi, to a transphobe. All of it has been slapped onto Jay Schlatt. I have no idea what the f went on there. Jay Schlatt is something of a mystery on YouTube. This is a guy who breaks the mold in more ways than one for content creators. For starters, nobody even knows what his real name is. Is it Jonathan? Jason? Jebediah? And if you think Schlatt has a lot of names, check out how many YouTube channels he has. Whatever you want to call him, content comes naturally to the big guy. Millions of fans can't be wrong, can they? Okay, well maybe they can. Jay Schlatt has been called the king of cancellation, and he's been cancelled so many times nobody really seems to even know why anymore. To discover what makes Jay Schlatt uncancelable, I had to journey through thread after thread of deleted tweets with replies from banned and suspended accounts trying to piece together what the two sides were fighting over like an archaeologist studying a battlefield 10,000 years later. Except this battlefield is an app that instantly rots your brain, and the soldiers are kids who worship K-pop artists and faceless Minecraft players. War is truly hell. To understand the nature of these battles, I needed to understand Schlatt. Who is he, and how did he become the target of all this? Schlatt started out on YouTube as a kid by recording himself playing a hacked Wii. Check this out. Before I get into Minecraft, I used to hack Mario Kart and just spam infinite items at people and pretty much just make the race a living hell for anyone in it. And that is actually me playing the game, recording the analog TV with a camera on a tripod. I know, it was bad, but I, I had to start somewhere making videos and that was it. He's privated or deleted these oldest videos, but his oldest video still visible on the main channel is called Good Boy Eats Food, posted in 2014, which is just a video of him feeding his pet bearded dragon. Then just for fun, he started making and posting memes and montage parodies videos. This was a special time in YouTube history when people like Pyrocynical, Potal, and a whole group of popular YouTubers were making MLG-style YouTube poops, full of Call of Duty hit markers, Snoop Dogg, and clowning on Amazon Alexa. But Schlatt wasn't married to this style, and started experimenting with different types of videos on his channel. He made some half-serious essay-type videos where he talked about normal topics like the nature of the universe and different types of mechanical keyboards. In these early videos, a lot of people have noted how different his voice sounds to the heavy Schlatt accent we all know today. With the cheap rubber dome keyboards, each time you press down on a key, you're met with a mushy feeling and a general sense of self-loathing. But with mechanical keyboards, not only do you have the nice tactile feedback of the switch when you press it down, but the click, that loud, crisp slap of each key is just music to my ears and most likely the bane of my neighbor's existence. In October of 2017, Schlatt posted what would become a breakout video for his channel, Open TTD, a transportation nightmare. In this video, Schlatt played an old business simulation game where the player earns money transporting people. Schlatt hammed it up with goofy gameplay and witty commentary. Lots of popular content creators commented on this video, and it looks like Schlatt's channel was really starting to gain momentum. But in this very video, he was unknowingly planting the seeds that would get him cancelled later on in his career. With the success of his Open TTD series, Schlatt started posting more gaming videos with commentary. He emphasized his accent, and he started to sound more like the Schlatt we know today. Then he posted another essay-style video in May of 2018, a tribute to Minecraft. Minecraft had fallen out of popularity since its initial release by this time, and it was starting to be disregarded as a simple game for little kids. But during the summer of 2018, Minecraft started to come back into the mainstream in a big way. 
Schlatt's video was a beautiful explanation of how Minecraft affected him and why it was so important to a whole generation of kids who grew up playing it. This video got 5 million views and resonated with a lot of people who felt nostalgic for the game and the memories they made in it. From this point on, Schlatt catapulted to massive popularity. He was invited to SMP Live by Call Me Carson soon after, and Schlatt's sense of humor and personality attracted a massive audience for him both on Twitch and YouTube. He started his second and now main channel, J Schlatt Live, which now has almost 3 million subs. But as Spider-Man's uncle once said, with great Minecraft YouTube viewership comes great liability to be cancelled. As Critical and many other commentary YouTubers have noted, for some reason the Minecraft content creator fandom has an extremely strong urge to cancel, bully, and harass anyone who they feel isn't living up to their moral and ethical standards, which are constantly changing and expanding. Schlatt's edgy sense of humor and tendency to not hold back made him an obvious target for this group. Over the last couple of years, lots of threads have popped up attempting to cancel J. Schlatt. Almost all of them have been deleted or the people making them have been suspended, so I've relied heavily on Wayback Machine to pull a lot of these tweets. There's also a Google Doc that a creator named Kyoto Commentaries made that was immensely helpful to me that I've linked in the description. One of the most common accusations levied against Schlatt is that he's homophobic, because of something from that open TTD video I talked about earlier. In the video, Schlatt named one of the characters D. Wyke. This tweet from one of the cancellation threads says, Don't forget him naming a character who very much looks like a stereotypical lesbian after the D slur in his open TTD series. Schlatt didn't mention this during the video, and it seems like it was just an offhand joke he was making about her appearance. While calling people names based on their appearance is mean, I don't feel like this by itself is grounds for cancellation, and even the replies on Twitter were split almost exactly 50-50. Another one of the most common accusations that Schlatt gets is that he's racist. In almost every cancellation thread about him, this tweet is brought up. It says, Trigger warning Schlatt. Racism. Hey, it's been a while, huh? Yeah, he's done more sh This one was last night, yeah? Schlatt's tweet just says, I'm rich and white. Why the f do you think I'm on hood Twitter, Lamau? In every thread I found this tweet in, it was posted completely without context. If you go to the thread now, you can see that most of the tweets are deleted, and at least one of the people in the conversation is now suspended. Not very helpful. But if you look this thread up on the internet archive, it starts to make sense. The thread starts with someone named Korn, who is now suspended, tweeting yo at Schlatt. J. Schlatt says, Sh what? Then who are you, by the way? To which a third person replies, Schlatt's not a part of the Twitter hood. Then Schlatt posted his now deleted response. I'm rich and white, why the fuck do you think I'm on hood Twitter Lamau? To which another person replies, so we are hood Twitter because we're black? And Schlatt says that person is reading too far into it. Schlatt almost immediately deleted the tweet and replied to a comment confirming that he didn't mean it that way. It doesn't seem like Schlatt realized his tweet might be taken as condescending or racially insensitive, but that's the nature of text communication in Twitter especially. Whatever is normally communicated through tone, body language, or any other means are completely lost. All that's left are the characters on the screen, free to be interpreted as positively or negatively as possible. This seemed like a learning moment for Schlatt, and he doesn't really reply to anyone he doesn't already know anymore. Another incident that people claim shows Schlatt is racist against black people that's especially recent is a video posted on Schlatt's channel titled, We Made This Game Terrible. In the video, Schlatt plays Jackbox with Swagger Souls, Cryos, Fitz, Minx, and Charmord. I got some of the most emotionally intelligent people together to play some rounds of surviving the internet. Now this is a game about taking people's words out of context. One player gets a random prompt that they'll answer any way they want, and then another player gets that answer as their prompt. And their job is to make that answer seem like a response to the most absurd thing possible. So to sum it up, ironically, the point of this game is to make the other players sound as bad and cancelable as possible. During the game, this joke is made. I have an issue because I'm always craving saying slurs. Now, here's a solution to not get canceled for saying slurs. Because we all know about identity. And if you identify as an oppressed group... <laughs> what? That's you can use face. the, oh, the old God. art of blackface. <laughs> And, th and through this, no, you won't man. get canceled for saying slurs, <laughs> no, but man. you might get canceled for something else. <laughs> okay. right. It's a plea bargain, yeah. you know? You didn't right. run a red light, but maybe you, were, maybe you weren't buckled up. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty obvious that this made everybody uncomfortable due to this really awkward silence, and even Schlatt wants to move past it and says, you right. can hit, I'm can done now. But the most ironic part of this whole incident is that Schlatt isn't even the one who made the joke. It was Swagger Souls, but the mob on Twitter still went after Schlatt. 
Someone started a cancellation thread soon after, but their account got suspended. Using my internet time machine, we can see that the original tweet says, Anti-blackness racism Jay Schlatt. Saying that this is just a joke literally proves the point that he's racist. Blackface was literally made to make fun of black people. It seems obvious that the thumbnail was trying to use the shock factor of blackface to get clicks, but again, the context has been completely stripped from this on Twitter. It's a joke that Jay Schlatt didn't even make that actually seemed to make him pretty uncomfortable. Schlatt has since changed the thumbnail of the video to this. There are also a couple of incidents that people use to claim Schlatt is racist against Asian people. This person says, trigger warning, Schlatt, racism, made an Asian joke. Context, Connor, if you squint, couldn't get the exact moment, but he doesn't exactly pull his eyes, he just puts his fingers there and chuckles. This tweet got over 2,000 likes and was one of the main tweets in a cancellation thread claiming Schlatt is racist. Seems pretty bad, doesn't it? Now let's take a look at the actual clip. Is she still well, yeah. gone? I don't it's see any. I don't see any any progress being made. I see a little bit. She's you see a little there. bit. I think so. If you squint. Thank God. Thank God. Oh no! shit! <laughs> uh oh. No! What are you <laughs> and that's it. They go right back to playing Minecraft. Schlatt couldn't see the block breaking. Connor told them to squint. Schlatt squinted, and then they kept playing. No joke about Asian people was made at all. This accusation seems pretty disingenuous at best, and a bold-faced lie at worst. Another allegation of racism against Asian people comes from this tweet that says Schlatt called Jaden Animations Asian after she crashed in Mario Kart. Let's watch the clip. I hit one. Oh, oh no. surfboard on the back of a car? <laughs> well, I mean, that's because you're Asian. It's a really short clip. The VOD is gone because for some reason this particular streamer hasn't streamed in a long time and deleted all their VODs. But he did upload a highlight video to his YouTube channel. This clip didn't make it into the video, but it does list everyone who was playing. It turns out the person talking wasn't even Jaden Animations. It was this girl, Umi. She's a popular Twitch streamer and TikToker who's definitely not the same person as Jaden. It's hard to hear the context in the clip, but it does seem like Jay Schlatt was making a joke about Umi being Asian after she crashed. There are also a lot of other incidents that are brought up when people on Twitter post threads about Jay Schlatt, many of them on Discord, where he's accused of using slurs back in 2017 and 18. The problem with Discord is unless someone is verified, which is extremely rare, it's almost impossible to figure out if the account being screenshotted is real or not. There's no user history or follower count like Twitter to help you figure out if someone's profile is legit, and if you're not in the same server, it's almost impossible to find a person. For now, I'm going to leave the Discord accusations and others that I didn't touch on in the unsolved category. So where does this leave us? After all these accusations, what makes Schlatt uncancelable? I think part of the explanation is that the J. Schlatt that millions of people follow is a character. A hammed up Catholic who likes guns and being offensive. This character isn't the same person as the guy narrating a tribute to Minecraft or giving sincere and heartfelt advice on the weekly Slap channel. He spent hours reading questions from viewers and talking with them openly about topics from being happy in life to staying motivated during quarantine. As for the Minecraft stands, with fan bases this rabid, I think content creators in this space are left with a simple choice. They can apologize and beg forgiveness from every perceived slight from faceless accounts, or they can ignore them completely. I think Schlatt is making the right choice here. Here's what he had to say when he went on the Create Unknown podcast about it. What I found interesting with the, the video that I watched about <clears throat> you people clamoring for you to be canceled were, were how many of them were frustrated that you w like weren't canceled? There were all of these things that were like, how come he keeps getting away with this? And they were shaking their fist in the end. It's because they the don't air. watch me. And, it's because that's well, that's what thing. I was thinking. That's, I was this like, is the, this is the yeah, point. because you it's don't not, have an, any it's effect not worth on my his time content. Trying to convince people who don't watch my content and never will watch my content because I don't make it for them. It's not worth my time convincing them I'm not a terrible person. So I don't. I don't worry about it, and I'm doing fine. And that's and that yeah, and the really only way it would have an honestly, effect dude, is if your yes. fans were pissed off. And they're at not you. because they understand. But that's the thing. Like it, it's 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 not worth my time, and that's really. That's really all I, I have to say on it. <laughs> if you like this deep dive into Schlatt's cancellations, you'll probably also like this video about what happened to Call Me Carson. He's coming back to the internet soon, and I think you're going to want to be all caught up for when he does return. Also, if you want to send me stupid memes or whatever, drop me a follow on Twitter at jabroni3420.